Um, my name is Riviana. Um, there's a picture of me right there. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and she, her. I'm a member of the National Youth Forum on Homelessness, um, like Caleb and Phoebe and Dee that you saw earlier. Um, today, we are going to be talking um, a little bit more about youth collaboration. You'll be hearing about it a lot over the next two days. Um, but in the next five minutes, I want to get at, um, like, what are we doing with it? What are we learning from it? Um, what are young people bringing to this field? Um, and what is youth collaboration doing for young folks? Um, I think it's really important to pause and like assess these things um, and to talk about them openly. This is a quote um, from Paul Bowden, um, author of House Keys, Not Handcuffs. It says, to be meaningful, change must be owned and created by the people who are most affected by what currently exists. Hell yeah. Um, he uh, first experienced homelessness at the age of 16 in San Francisco. Um, and has been a huge advocate for uh, the power of centering lived experience in this work. So I feel like this is a really, really awesome quote to center this, um, uh, this conversation around. So what are young folks bringing to the movement? Um, I think one, in the last few years, we've gotten a much better idea um, of what has not been working. <laughs> um, with the onset of young people sort of taking up space um, in our national conversation. I think we've gotten a much better idea of how broken our systems are, um, how much they're not working for people, um, and a little bit of what, of what is working. Um, they're also bringing accountability, right? Like having young folks in the room, um, having the people that you are attempting to serve in the room with you immediately makes everybody more accountable. Um, it also makes people adjust uh, adjust language and makes us face um, sort of toxic professionalism, I think that we sort of touched on earlier in that panel. Um, sometimes that's like the ways people dress, but it's also the ways people talk. Um, and it's breaking all that stuff down. Wow, this is moving so quickly. Okay, how does these collaborations serve the young people? Um, I think as the role of young people expand in this movement, um, it means that uh, young people are able to explore their own skills um, because young people can be involved in the work in a number of different ways. Um, it also means um, connection to community. I know that when I first started doing this work as a young person with lived experience, um, it meant that for the first time, I look at Dee, so cute. Um, it meant that I was connecting with people who grew up the same way that I did, kind of for the first time. Um, and it also meant that I was meeting a lot of people who had very dissimilar lives to me. Um, and both of those types of people became my community, and that was very important to me. Also, ownership and impact. Um, it is an incredibly powerful thing to be able to begin to heal the systems that harmed you in one way or another. Um, and allowing young people to have experience to have ownership and impact in that way um, is incredibly important. This is attempting to get at this thing that we have going on, where there's people working at a systems level, direct service providers, frontline staff, and young people. Um, I think often all of those parts of this movement are operating in really, really different spaces. And to me, this is just meant to illustrate that collaborating with young people is a way to begin to like, have some equity in these conversations and to begin to have um, more viewpoints in these conversations. Um, so what are we learning about youth collaboration? It's really hard. Um, <laughs> it's hard to find funding streams to pay young people. It's hard to prepare people, um, to prepare older adults. Um, it means that older adults have to check themselves, not only on adultism, um, but on their savior complexes, on all their other isms too. Um, it's very personal work to begin to, to, to collaborate with young people in a meaningful way. We are also learning that it's worth it. Um, so ultimately, like, why? Why are we doing this? Um, one, uh, again, the phrase, nothing about us without us, has been said earlier. I think that should go without saying um, that this is our work. Uh, youth homelessness, this movement, belongs to us, belongs to young people. Um, having young people around in this field helps us to, helps our work to reflect our world. Um, it also makes the work easier, right? Like, we know this stuff. We know these systems because we've navigated them every day, um, and we know what's up. I think that's it. That's my email. I'm Riviana. Thanks for listening. <laughs>